when you stay with the breath, you're trying to make it your home, which means you want to make it comfortable. It's like moving into a new building, a new house. And as the old saying is, it takes a heap of living to make a house a home. You have to get really familiar with what's going on inside here. And adjust things where they're not right, and make improvements, and look after things. So there's work to be done in the present moment. The present moment is constantly being fabricated. We're putting it together with a raw material from the past. There was a question the other day about, about how your pains reflect your present moment state of mind. In some cases they do. In some cases they come from past, past karma, which you can't change. But you look for the things that you can, and you work around the ones that you can't. That's an important part of getting to know the territory here, getting familiar with this, ho this house so it does become your home. In some cases you find that your house has been built on something that's going to create disturbances. You know, sometimes they talk about having the monks check to make sure that their huts are not being built over anthills or termite, termite nests. But sometimes you get a house that's got termites' nests and anthills. In other words, you've got some past karma you've got to deal with. So you work around it. The ants can have their territory, and the termites can have their territory. Make sure they don't invade your territory. So find the areas of the body that you can change and you can make comfortable and focus on those. That way you create a sense of well-being in the body, well-being in the mind, that they can then can be used to work through some pains, realizing that some pains are just going to stay there. In, case, in that case, you work around them, because it is possible to find well-being in, even in the midst of a body that has pain. If ever, everything in the body were painful, we'd die. So there's going to be some place that's comfortable inside here. So look for that, nourish that, make that your home. And when you're coming from a position of well-being, then life is a lot easier for you and a lot easier for the people around you. So get a sense of what you can and can't change, and work within that. That's the wisdom of how to live in this world without suffering. <laughs>